So, I mean, Hellraiser is one of the most storied franchises in the horror genre, uh, and it's awesome to see it come back. I really enjoyed the new one. What about it, though, really caught your interest to want to be a part of it? Um, well, you know, it, it's just fun how uh, how imagery related it is. I think they they really did a good job of making it sexy and like memorable. And yet, like the imagery, just I remember even like the stop motion in the original, just like the reverse stop motion. I think it was just really amazing to see what they did I think with like a relatively lower budget and just kind of like the stillness of the Cenobites and yet they're in these vestments that are so like sort of like outlandish but that they just sort of stay and like kind of make a meal out of you is um something that I think like uh really excited me about this one especially seeing all the new designs you know like you see them in the trailer and there's just there's so many cool ones and so many new cool ones which I think is awesome the Cenobites, I mean, they're one of the most visually arresting things in the horror genre to this day. What was your first reaction like when you saw them on set? Oh, man, I have to say there was a point when one of them, the Weeper, you'll kind of see her in the um, in the trailer, but she has no jaw and she has these bug eyes. And Drew and I, like, basically, like, we have this scene where we're kind of running from Cenobites. And she just was just so tall and quiet. And like, I, you couldn't really hear anything she was saying because the mask was so um, just like covering, you know, and just so um, muting. And uh, and she only really like spoke when she like had to in the scenes or made these sort of guttural noises. And it freaked me out so much, man. I just like, we would be, and you didn't even really have to get into it because you just like look at her and then she'd make that like sort of bass noise. And it was just so freaky, man. And and having to run from her, it was just so fun. I like, I love getting scared. And so like those ones, I felt like I was like, wow, this is like my horror movie watching training coming in to fucking, you know, play here. Cause I was just like, dude, we get to like do this every day. It's so cool. They're right in front of us. And I don't know. I just geek out over that stuff. I just think it's so cool when you get to see them right in front of you. That's awesome. I can only imagine. Uh, I, I don't know what I would do if I saw, I don't know if I would uh, <laughs> fanboy or if I would go, okay, time to go. <laughs> I just like clomping towards you slowly. Yeah, just like Exactly. You're like, yeah. what do we do? Hug, run. What? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things that I love about this film, especially in comparison to the, all of the previous ones, is the characters. I mean, you, they are all so well written. They're all so well performed. Uh, Colin is one of the most touching of them all. What was it like getting to the heart of him, uh, you know, as it went on? Thank you, man. I appreciate you saying that. I feel like um, I, I had a lot of fun with Colin because I feel like it was fun because I, I find I'm kind of sometimes a natural skeptic and like a logical thinker in my real life. So like to get to sort of like bring that to life in this while also like having to balance like, you know, loving Riley and like kind of having the only connection left like with her and trying to sort of like savor that and like and, and protect that, you know, was like a, a very like fun challenge to sort of toe because it's like here on one end he's very logical and he's like how could this be real but he's seeing the very real reaction of Riley while she's going through it and so like um it, it was just such a, a a fun time to be able to play that and I mean like Odessa is such a great actor so to like kind of play opposite of her and like really try to like you know uh, walk on eggshells throughout those scenes was just like uh, she made it so easy so yeah well, since you mentioned Odessa, I was actually going to ask, you know, what was it like developing that rapport with her? Because the dynamic that you two have is so, so much fun. Thank you, man. Dude, I love that girl. She's, uh, she's just like, she's got such a big heart and she, you know, like just, I don't know. She just comes every day with just like fucking an open heart, you know, she's a, she's a hellbound heart, baby, you know, and I just, I appreciated that she just like really went for it every time. And, you know, before scenes, when we had to get into it, we just jump around, we'd live it, we'd live in it. We'd, um, there's this song I like to listen to from, to Kill, from Kill Bill that I like to listen to. Um, like it's Zam Fear. It's like the Lonely Shepherd. And I, and I always like, I just liked that song because it like made me think of like her kind of being like, almost like Uma Thurman or something like kind of like going and facing these like demons you know and I, it was stupid because one day I like I, my headphone fell out and then she heard I was listening to it and like instead of like 
I was kind of embarrassed, but then like, she was like, no, 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 like, let's listen to it together. So like, it became our thing, like before, like these like intense scenes or when we had to get like emotional, it felt like it was like, I was kind of like, you know, like letting her go and then facing these demons. Cause she's so cool. And that she's such a badass. Like her character is just, you know, it's cool to see her take agency in her own hands because I think final girls in some movies, they don't really get that agency. And so it's really kind of, awesome to get to see her be a badass and be the one figuring out this puzzle box as we go along like it was really her you know yeah i i couldn't agree more i think she's uh one of the best recent examples of a final girl that we've had yet um yeah. so uh before i let you go i am also curious you know the social media embargo drop so we, reactions have been coming out how has it been uh for you you know seeing it's because they've been pretty positive how has it been seeing all the reactions so far <laughs> Dude, so cool. I even like met this girl the other day and I, I didn't tell her. She was wearing a pinhead or a Hell Priest shirt. And I went up and I was like, what do you think about it? And I didn't tell her I was in it at all. I didn't want to like say anything, but I just wanted to hear what she had to naturally see. She's like, you know, I'm skeptical at first, I'll be honest. Then I saw Clive signed on. Then I saw the trailer and I was like, holy shit, I'm on board. And I it made me so happy to feel like objectively she was like, you know, I'm giving it a shot. And I feel like it's, you know, it's hard because the fans like love the original so much, you know, and it is, I know a lot to live up to, but I think what's great about what Bruckner did, he's like, this is a reimagination. This is not a remake. We're not trying to remake or recreate what your like favorite memories were. We're kind of just trying to stay within the world and give you a new perspective in this universe. So um, I think it was really great for doing that. And also just sort of going back to the novella as well. Um, and so I, I'm just really excited that fans are like in it with us and that they're, they're loving it and they're eating it up and stuff. And I can't wait for them to see like the actual full movie in its entirety as well. I can't either because I know I have seen the skeptics as well. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was on board the second Bruckner was on board because I love it. Yeah. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh, this is going to be epic. And then I watched the movie and I was like, that was really good. So <laughs> I, I can't wait to spread the word about it, Adam. Thank you so much for taking Thanks. the time to chat with me. Thanks, Grant. You're awesome, man. Thank you.